today. We want to welcome everybody who has joined us today. Let me move this down just a little bit. There we go. There's a lot of people in the community to thank as well. Brad, Holt, and all of the VFW members here, we thank you for welcoming us and wanting to be a part of this day with us as we honor Mr. James Meredith with our first Freedom Trail Marker in our county. Good afternoon, my name is Kim Terrell. I'm your Director of Tourism for DeSoto County. Mr. and Mrs. Meredith, we're very glad that you could make it here, come up from Jackson, we do appreciate that. There are several people in the community that helped us get here today. Andy, Mike, and their crew that made sure we got the, the marker up. We appreciate it because without them, that just simply wasn't gonna happen. We've got some elected officials I'd like to acknowledge. On our supervisors, Mr. Michael Lee is on the program, so he's here. Mr. Bill Russell, you are here somewhere. I've seen you, my friend, there you are. For our mayors, I know that Mayor Chip Johnson is sitting right here. Scott Phillips from Olive Branch, thank you for being here, my hometown right there. And I know that Alan Latimer could not be here, whoa, that's going in and out, could not be here, but Jim Robinson is here in his place. So if I've, is Muscle White here? Where is it, did I miss him? There he is. Put you on the spot. Thank you, Mayor Muscle White, for being here from South Haven. We've got several, I think we've got several aldermen. If, ever, any, if I've missed an elected official, would kind of our aldermen or anyone else just kind of give us a wave, please, and let everybody know you're here. Thank you so much because we do appreciate all of you guys being here with our elected officials. <laughs> Certainly, I want to thank Mary Margaret White, who is from our state tourism office, Visit Mississippi. She is the Bureau Manager of Creative Economy. She works with all of us as communities that have these markers, whether they're blues markers, country music markers, literary markers, and now, of course, our Freedom Trails marker. And I appreciate everything she's done to make today to make sure all of our I's are dotted and our T's are crossed. She's got us all in order, so we're in good shape. Mr. Meredith, we are honored that you could be here today to unveil this Freedom Trail marker and commemorating your march down Highway 51 over 50 years ago. There are others who will speak and can tell personal stories. What I know is that Mr. Meredith is a civil rights pioneer and author of many books. And what I did not know until a few weeks ago is he is an Air Force veteran. On a quick side note, my dad is still 92 years old with us. He's a World War II veteran. He joined the Navy 10 days out of Pearl Harbor. He was 17 years old. And as we were talking earlier when I said the VFW members, one of the fellas talked about being combat veterans, and that's something that my dad takes great pride in, is being a combat veteran. So to all of our veterans, whether you're combat, however you served, on the day before Veterans Day, we say thank you so much. Just a couple of quick notes before our speakers come up. When we're through with this and we have the unveiling and we do all of the pictures, we're gonna go right inside the VFW. They have so graciously set everything up for us. We're gonna have a little cake, a little water. We've got some tea, a little something. If you feel a little parched, they've got everything ready. Miss Vicki is in there and has got everything under control. If you would, if you have not, one more quick thing in housekeeping. This thing goes, I'm sorry. If you haven't turned off your cell phones, would you please grab those and turn them off? because we could be in the middle of one of these great people up here speaking, and we sure don't want to be interrupted with that. On the program,